There's a new brush tool option called Flow in Rough Animator version 2.08 that came out recently. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it does on today's episode of the Expat Animator. So let's go ahead and open Rough Animator and create a new project. And I just want to check a couple things here with specifically with the new brush tool uh, and the flow option here. So if I take flow all the way up to 100% and I grab my brush and I just start doing some line work at 100% that's we get a regular line. Now if I drop this down to say 50%, let's see what happens. Uh, no change there. So let's drop flow all the way down to zero. And now we don't get a line at all. So let's take it up to 1%. And there, what we're seeing here is a drop in opacity. But the harder I press, the darker the line goes. Now, what you might notice on this last line I just drew, as the line kind of crosses over itself, you're seeing, let me zoom in here. You're, what you're seeing here is what happens when you've got a transparent line kind of doubling back over itself. And so you see these little peaks here. That's because we've got the flow set. And we've got the flow set to 1% right now. So if I drop take this up to say 25% it goes really dark like we can't tell a difference let me let me just delete everything here and let me try so that's three percent let's go five percent I mean it's good to dark really quick but you can still see there's some transparency in in the line work here and let's try ten percent and ten percent with flow you're almost at a regular line although if you look here at the beginning you kind of can see the beginning of the line here you can kind of see that there's some fading coming into the line so another thing i want to take a look at is the spacing so right now i've got spacing at one percent i can i cannot drop that to anything less than one percent but let's take it up to a hundred percent and let's just draw draw a line and what you'll see is your your basically your pen brush tip is getting spaced out as you draw your line and you know there may be instances when you want to use that but for the most part I keep my spacing down to one percent which will give me a regular looking line now let's try uh, spacing at 50 percent and let's just see what that does and you can see it's it's spacing out the that the distance of when it will allow the brush to actually land on the canvas so so again spacing i'm just going to drop that back down to one percent and that'll give me my regular line but smoothing you'll notice i have at zero percent let's drop let's bring that all the way up to 100 and see what happens and remember smoothing is basically smoothing out your line for you so if you have a shaky hand you know as i go up and down you can even see it's it's pulling the line tighter and making it less shaky so for the most part i keep smoothing either at zero or very low like one or two on the number there because I want my hand to be doing the artwork I don't want the pen to kind of override my my line work so let me just take that back down to zero and another thing you'll notice with smoothing is if you've got this pretty high let's let's drop it let's take it to 50 percent is as you're drawing your line it's gonna be more processor intensive on your computer so the line doesn't stay exactly with your pen tip and so that's something to pay attention to the higher you've got that smoothing number 
the slower the actual ink comes out of the pen when you're drawing. So again, that's another reason I kind of like to keep it pretty much at zero or, or one or two. And that basically means that as fast as I can draw, the pen stays, or the ink stays with the pen. Now, let's go back to flow here because flow is our, our new option in Rough Animator version 2.08. And if I'm just gonna draw a line with flow at 10%, let's do another one here at around 50%. And you can see, look at the ends here. They're tightening up on the ends. And if I'm gonna take flow to 100% and do another line, that's basically the, the line I'm used to seeing. So uh, remember this first line was about 10%. Let's take it down to zero and we don't get a line. So if I take it to 1%, that's what 1% flow does to my line work. So somewhere in between one and 10%, you're, let's do a 5% here. It gets dark pretty quick, but it's not the same thing as opacity. So if I'm gonna take my opacity down to say 50% and I make a line, that's where you see the line itself actually getting more transparent. And so if I'm gonna draw, an, if I just drew a 52% opacity, I'm gonna draw another one on top of that. You can see through, let me do, let me do a little wavy here. You can see through what I just drew. And that's what you're gonna get with your opacity. So if I'm gonna take opacity back to 100, but I'm going to take flow at 5%, and I'm gonna do some lines on top of each other. It gives you that same kind of effect where you're kind of getting that transparency, but it's working a little bit differently. So depending on what you want your line work to look like, maybe you're using, maybe you want some transparency because you're drawing a background or something, that's when you might mess around with these settings like flow or opacity. But for the most part, when I'm doing my animation work, I want a solid black line. I am normally gonna be drawing flow at 100% because I want that thick black line with no transparency in it. So if I'm drawing on top of lines, you know, I'm not seeing this overlap that we get in here that is showing the transparency of two lines overlapping. So depending on what you wanna do, you might want to be using the flow and the spacing and the opacity in your line work. But if not, these, what I'm showing here are pretty good settings, which is opacity 100, flow 100, spacing 1% and smoothing, you know, zero, one or two, something like that. So if I want to draw something that's gonna be showing overlap, I need to take my flow pretty far down, like one or 2% even at 1% here. You know, and you'll notice as I as I drew that out, it didn't show me the full the final results until I let go and you kind of see it snap. So let me let me undo that and try it again. Oop, got the wrong brush here. Go back to my brush. And you'll see when I let go here, we're gonna get a different result because the brush is gonna catch up to itself. There. So keep that in mind when you're using flow is what you're seeing as you're drawing is not what the end result is until you let go of that line. Let me try one more time here. I'm gonna bring my brush size up a little bit. So you see when I let go of that final line, that's when it snaps. And right now I'm using a flow of 1%. And you know, as I zoom in here, you can kind of see what the line is doing. And it's and it's pretty interesting. You know, I don't know if I would necessarily use this in my own animation work, but it's cool that it's in our toolkit within Rough Animator now. So I hope that helps uh, a little bit with learning about the new flow brush option in the tool options palette. My name is Patrick Davidson. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time. If you found today's video helpful, 
you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.